Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another video. And today, well, this is my face. You guys have been asking for it for a while, so here you go. This is what I look like. There we go, that's the video. Goodbye. No, but on a more serious note, what we are doing today is we are, wow, we're doing quite a few things because I've taken a week break off of YouTube for a bit, um, just sort of get myself mentally ready sort of mentally well and all that because i've needed a little bit of a break and what we're going to do today is we're going to sort out my setup because i have bought something fairly expensive if you guys are over in the discord you would already know about this and if you follow me on twitter i've also said what it is i've gotten um but what we are going to do today is we're going to set up our setup like most people will do when they're going through a breakup and also stuck indoors for six or seven weeks in the UK, it's very boring. Uh, I decided to buy myself a 270 pound racing wheel. So first of all, I just wanna make a quick comparison of what my setup looks like beforehand. And to be honest, it is quite um, quite a mess. So here is uh, there's a lot of cables. There's a mouse there in the middle for some reason. Uh, a pair of shoes, my Xbox games there, <laughs> my Xbox One games are all down here, and here are where the two Xboxes are, and this is where it happens. So what I need to do is I need to move this unit over there into that corner, I need to move the bed back in the middle, I need to move this all the way across here, and then hopefully there should be enough space that we can get the wheel on top of the unit there that we can use as a temporary setup until I get a proper sort of racing rig. Um, but yeah, hopefully this all goes well. Right, so I finished tidying up, I've tidied everything, all the furniture has been moved. So we should be able to start putting all of our equipment back in. This is the equipment. And there's actually quite a lot of stuff here. We've got um, multiple HDMI cables, HDMI splitters, TV, uh, Xbox One, Xbox 360, power cables, capture cards. There's actually another capture card in that box there, which is kind of amazing. Um, but what we're going to do is I'm thinking because this, whenever we put it in that cubby hole, this always overheats. And I think because the air comes out of the back and goes back into the sides, because these are the intakes for the Xbox. So my plan is to put it on the back wall there flat. It will cover up the power button probably, which means I won't be able to turn it on without the controller. But that should be a very good airflow that it is out of the way. We will run some tests before we start doing anything extreme like that though. So let's get this over there. Right, so I finally got the Xbox and all that plugged back in. Um, so this is what it is looking like now. Um, so far we haven't had any problems. I'm gonna do a couple of tests, just make sure that the Xbox back there is not gonna overheat. So I will see you guys in a couple of days once the wheel actually turns up and we should do an unboxing, put it all in. Hopefully it's gonna look amazing. So I'll see you guys then. Right, so it's been a couple of days since the last clip and the wheel has finally arrived. I have it here. So here it is. Um, what I am going to do uh, is flip this round. Here we go. And I am going to open this and we're going to take a look what is inside. Trying to do this one-handed is kind of difficult. Right, so... Okay, so that is the power adapter, that is good. Um, this is what looks like a serial port. Uh, I presume that goes into the wheel for the pedals. Yes, so this thing here is the wheel itself. Um, oh, that actually looks really nice. Um, and then we have the pedals just in here oh yeah this is very difficult to do one-handed there we go that is the pedals and there's just well that's it that's everything out of the box so 
what I'm going to do, I'm going to unwrap these, I'm going to try and set it up in the corner, and then we will take a look at the entire thing. So from the uh, pedals themselves, this one is actually the lightest one by the looks of it. Um, the clutch is has some sort of extra strength to it compared to this, but this one, this is where it gets really solid on the brake pedal. That actually feels really nice, and I have a feeling that's going to be really fun to play with. Um, the wheel itself has um, the 900 degrees of rotation, which is very nice indeed. It's got this little metal clip as well for centralising the wheel, but also little uh, flappy paddles as well, and it's got all of the buttons on here too. So that should be... Oh, that looks really nice on there actually. That looks like the grill of a car, almost. So yeah, that looks really nice there. So I'm going to get it hooked up now. Uh, and I'm going to move that bottle of Corona. <sighs> right, so we have everything set up. The only thing left to do is to plug the power cable in. So let's see. There we go. Oh. There we go, that's it all completely calibrated and sorted. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set up uh, the camera, see if I can make some form of makeshift stand to put on the top here. And then we will get into the first lot of games and we'll do like a first time sort of review mixed with comparison all in one. So let's go do that now. Right, so we are here uh, in Forza Horizon 4 and what we are going to do is we are going to give sort of a first try of using the wheel and as you can see this is going to be amazing so we're in a BMW M5 for this okay yes I can feel that oh oh I felt bumps there okay Right, let's slow down and let's start this event, the Horizon Festival Sprint. Let's see how well this car actually handles it. Right, so we are currently driving in the rain, so hopefully it's not going to be too much of a nightmare. We are doing automatic at the moment, so we're just literally just driving, seeing how it's like. Here we go. So the thing about Forza games is they only use a 180 degree rotation. So you will never need to move your wheel any further than 180 degrees. Oh, yes, we're doing very well there. Oh, I can feel the car sliding then. So yeah, driving in this is a little bit different to other things. Because um, I know F1 uses 360 degrees and uh, Dirt uses the full 900 degree rotation. There we go, nice. Slow down for this corner. So the break um, was a little bit difficult, so I'm sort of recording this on another day. But the brake is, it is a bit difficult to get used to, but once you get used to it, it is really fun, actually. Oh, probably should have slowed down a little bit for that corner. Let's see if we can regain control. Nope, lost it. Let's go backwards. Come on. <laughs> I think we've booked it. Yeah, last place. There we go. Didn't go well. I mean, we were doing all right at the start, but then afterwards it just it went downhill from there. Right, so we are now in the Hoonicorn, which is one of my favorite vehicles in this game. And we are going to give it a shot at drifting, and that didn't go very well at all. Yeah, drifting isn't my strong 
point here. <laughs> that is actually really funny. There we go. Nope, it's gone. The car has gone. Nope. I've got no chance. No chance whatsoever with that. Okay, so what we are going to do now is we are on Forza Motorsport 7 and we are going to give this a try. What I'm going to do, I'm actually set myself a little challenge. So if you look in the mod menu here, I've actually installed a mod for 8 good turns. So I'm going to see if we can actually achieve that whilst using the wheel. And also we've got the manual transmission set up as well. So let's give this a try. Hopefully it all goes well. There we go. Ah, oh, that engine noise. This car came from 2003. So I... Come on out of the way. So yeah, this game still only uses the 180 degrees of rotation. Oh. Oh. Yes. Felt the car slide a little bit there. Right, we're going off the track. We haven't gotten a good turn yet. Hopefully we get a good turn there. Come on, give me a good turn at least. Be fair, I'm using a wheel right now. We're hitting 175 miles an hour going down this straight. And then we're going to have to slam... Onto the brakes, bring it down to second gear. Perfect. We need to try and get past this GTR at some point. I am on above average difficulty still. So, it is a little bit getting used to still. Come on, little Ferrari. We can do this. Right, breaking for the second. There we go. We got past the GTR. There we go. Get around this corner here. Perfect. Oh. The GTR is trying to come up on the inside. Alright, gotta get ready for the brakes now. Brakes. Brakes. There we go. Right, 125 miles an hour already. Three minutes so far in the race time. I wasn't actually expecting to get into 6th gear then. See, that's where the AI makes mistakes, is that corner there. Onto the brake. Here we go, 2nd gear. Get around that corner, into 3rd. Up into 4th, probably, and then onto the brakes. Drop it down to 2nd. 
get around the corner there. And then we can kick it back up into third. And straight up into fourth. There we go. This car isn't even as fast as a Ferrari F50. But it is just such a nice sounding car. It's just the... Um, oh. The 330 Special. The 360 Special, sorry. I think we can go flat out. <laughs> that was a cheeky move there. What am I doing? Why am I shifting down? I should be braking for that corner. Here we go. Slow down here. Here we go. Slow down again for the corner. Get round, get round. We had a lot of grip there. Right, we're going on to a second lap. I forgot to turn the lap count down, actually. Here we go. Shift up. Oh. Lost a bit of grip there. Come on, come on. No. There we go. We haven't done one single good turn yet. Perfect turn, yes. Right, let's do this. See how top speed works on here. And slam onto the brakes. Second gear, I'm thinking. Yes, that's a perfect gear to be in there. And then shift into third, and we should be on fourth by the straight. Perfect. Nicely done. Uh, I don't actually know what the... No, that's the telemetry, which is pretty cool. There is, there's actually a, a minor amount of feedback just like there. There was enough feedback that I could tell that the car was sort of on its limits. And then there, you could feel the rear of the car just sliding out. This car seems to have a really good re gear ratio that most corners on this Le Mans circuit you can take at um, second gear. We've got three good turns on this lap as well so far. That is fairly low revs. We could have gotten away with shifting down like that. Here we go. Nice done. Onto the brakes again. Slow down for this corner. Oh, there is a lot of feedback there. The car does not want to turn. There we go. Perfect. Nice. Something just hit me. Oh, I shifted down one too many gears. That wasn't good at all. Right, let's see exactly how much top speed this car can actually handle. The car is one, one into jolt across the road.
Okay. So yeah, we don't want to shift down. But by the time we're on the straight, should be in fourth gear. We're going into the red line with these revs as well. And onto the brakes. We're looking to be in second gear. Oh, a little bit wide there. I actually didn't need to brake there, but we actually lost control of the rear of the car. Oh, a little bit of a slide going on there. There we go, nicely done. We got a five seconds faster than our last lap. So that is really good. Alright, brakes, brakes, brakes. There's another good turn. We need one more for our challenge. There we go, good turn, perfect. I mean, we didn't shift well, but we did good turn in. Oh. There we go, nice. Hard onto the brakes. Second gear. Round the chicane, shift up to third brake for the next one. Oh. And there you have it guys. Car's a little bit battered, but we did a pretty good job. We did a pretty good job. I will take that. I will take that happily. Right, so we are in F1 2018 now, and we have uh, 360 degrees of rotation in the wheel, so hopefully we can get, um, it can be a little bit better. We should have more control over the car now. Right, so I want to try and move over. What are you doing? Hitting my car. Stop it. Why do I get a warning for that? He collided with me. There we go. Perfect. We got around that corner very well, actually. Right, who's on my tail there? Right, break for this corner. Break, 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 break. Slam onto those brakes. Perfect. Here we go, let's get around. Perfect. Nice overtake there. Okay, we're through the start phase. Now let's build on it. Nicely done. Right, we need to somehow overtake him at some point. There we go, nicely done around the corner. Around there, perfect. Around here, and slow down. Oh gosh, that was some breaking force there. 
Here we go. Let's get some high speed on this straight here. Perfect. Cars are all bunched up behind us there. Great work. 134.846. That's a good time there. DRS is enabled as well, but we are well ahead of the pack, but we will never probably need it. Oh, slow down a little bit there. Yes, that's better. And slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Perfect. Get around the corner. Nicely done. Slow down again. Ah, oh, there is a lot of tension going through these corners here. I think maybe force feedback could probably get turned up for this game. Forza, the force feedback is useless. But I feel like so far, like this genuinely is a smooth force feedback, the programming behind it. But Forza, it just felt... I mean, Motorsport 7 was alright. But Forza Horizon 4, just not at all. I couldn't do that. Good job. That was the fastest lap of the race so far. And there is that little bit of feedback that helps so much. Go around these corners at speed, you feel that, and you can know not to push the car too much. Brakes, brakes, brakes. There we go. Perfect. Brakes again. Uh, you know what we could do is actually bump up our rich mix and we'll see how well this car actually manages to handle the track now for the rest of the race on a rich mix. Zero point zero eight three faster, so we're still getting faster every single time. There we go, perfect. Slam onto the brakes, onto the brakes. Oh, that was very sharp there. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Final lap, and it looks like we have plenty of fuel. Brakes, 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 brakes. Yes, perfect. Here we go. Slam, 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 slam. Perfect. Here we go. F1 2018. Nearly done with this race. Perfect. So down for this corner as well. How are we looking for fuel? Still plenty of petrol in the car. Or gas as the Americans will call it. Gasolina. Right, brakes, 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 brakes. And there's the checkered flag. Oh. Woo! 
great drive. We did it. Good job. We did it. That was a good one. F1 2018 there. Right, so we are now in Dirt 4. We're going to be taking part in the Land Rush series. Um, and let's just let's just do it. Let's see how well this goes. Okay, get a good start. Let's get your result today. What's this doing? I genuinely don't know what the wheel's done. Hang on. Ah, there we go. <laughs> I think it was calibrating. I may have just messed up the calibration. Oh, well. Right, we are going. Hey, you can see the force feedback is so much. Oh, I'm in uh, manual. Oh, dear. I forgot about that. Oh my gosh, the full feedback is amazing. As soon as you go up that jump, the entire wheel goes loose, which is obviously realistic, but it's just such a cool feeling to be able to feel that. Oh, find out the way. So I have removed the arms and the wheel from the truck. Uh, just so it makes the interior look a little bit more sensible to me. Here we go. Break. For the corner. Perfect. So basically, every single corner, I'm just shifting down to the second gear, which is a really short gear. Um, but it sort of allows for the speed to be carried through the corner. And then once the truck sort of picks its speed back up, you can then shift up into third. And then zoom, you're gone. nicely done you can feel a lot of like sideways movement it doesn't want you to turn into the corner while you're drifting and this, this feels so realistic though well I can't really say it feels realistic because I've never driven a trophy truck off road to be fair the only thing I've driven is a Ford Fiesta around my street oh there's cars overtaking us that's not good Got to shift up again. You can see how short that second gear was then. All right, onto the brakes, around the corner. Perfect. Come on, let's see if we can get that position back. Come on, come on, come on. You can do this. There we go, shift down, shift up. Still in the lead. Come on, come on. I can see the trucks right in that rear view mirror over there. I managed to shift down two gears by accident then. Right, final lap. Come on. Perfectly done there. Shifting up. Quick slam onto the brakes. Around the corner. Nice. Right, let's see if we can get this final corner nailed perfectly. 
Come on, come on. Shift up. And over the jump. Whew. Well done. You qualified for the A final. That was a good one. That was a good race. That was really fun. It was like constantly like turning the wheel side to side. That was amazing. That was absolutely brilliant. Right, so we are now in Dirt Rally 2.0. Um, this game I found next to impossible to play with a controller. So hopefully, with a wheel, we may have a little bit of luck. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Um, so we are Start three left tightens into two right into four left over crest. So we are going to be luck. running it with a manual transmission as well. So I'm literally bullying myself today. Five, four, three, I two, don't like that one. Though. Go. Three left tightens into two right into four left over crest into okay, five yes, right yes, that is into six left small cut. Fifty. Woo -hoo -hoo. Six left. <laughs> into six oh, right. Extra long. Titans three right. Into I'm just trying not to die. Long, Jesus. This is something you definitely 50. have to get used to. I think I need and to slow, recover the vehicle. There we right. go. Into open head and left. Long Titans. Holy shit, get right out of the wall! Small cut. Get out of the Into wall! <laughs> Four right long titans. Oh, you know what? I haven't done. Change the camera. Five left, extra long. That might give me a better chance. 60. Five right long. Oh! Over crest. Oh! Opens. Hang Into on! Left of a oh! Jump. Into five no, no, right. no, 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 no. 50, 6 left, opens of a crest. We're in a Mitsubishi. Into 5 okay. left of a jump. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Into 5 right of a jump, to crest, and 6 left. Into 6 right, 30, slow, 4 right long, opens of a crest. Right, I'm gonna try higher right gears long. so that the car goes a little bit slower. Into four left. But to keep right of a crash, turn two left long. Come tightens. on, get out of the get out of the edge of the wall. Into two right. Don't cut. And five right. Crap. Into three left. Into two right. Oh, Don't I got cut away. Five right. Into three left. And keep right into this six is left. So difficult. 30. Three left long. Holy crap. A narrow, the fact is that right says four minutes cut. and eleven seconds. I've only been driving for about a minute. Three right tightens. Huh? Fifty. Four left long. Opens of a crest. Fifty. Three left tightens. Thirty. Three right. Opens thirty. Spun out. Three <laughs> right. And keep left into six right. Six All I'm left. trying to do is get to the end right now. Two right long opens. 30. Six right into five left. Extra long. Tightens four. Oh, Jesus. Right Got rear a, puncture. It, oh, right rear puncture. Well done. And cut three left into two right. Right, let's try and get back on. And two nope. left long. I think we're gonna have to recover the vehicle again. Four right long. Hang on, we're getting somewhere. Into four left, Titans three. Into four right. Into three left long, of a finish. Three left long. Where's the finish? 50. No! To stop. Okay, well let's done. reverse over the finish. Nope. Right, so for our final race, we are on Project Cars 2. Uh, we are at Donington Park, which I have been to personally. It is one of the most amazing tracks ever. And we are taking this sort of mid-range vehicle. I can't remember. 
We are in manual. Let's go. Oh. Here we go. I'm just aiming to get round the track. Oh. Perfect. Nice. Oh. And onto the brakes. Not quite fast enough that time. And coming up to the hairpin turn. Oh no. There we go. Perfect. Lost the rear end of the car there a little bit. Onto the brakes. And let's slow down for the corner again. Perfect. We're actually going up like extra gears compared to the last lap that we were doing. Oh. There we go. Oh, I forgot to shift up. Let's get around this corner. Oh. There you go, back on it. Slow down, onto the brakes, shifting down into first for this corner. Brilliant. Let's go for the final lap, see how well we can do this. There we go. Perfect. So we're a little bit slower than our first lap at the moment. Or our second one, I think. I think it might have been the second one. That is so much better. Perfect. And that's the first time we took that corner without spinning as well. And here's the finish line. And across the line. Nicely done. That was very good. Very good, that. Right, so my final verdict on the wheel. Um, it is 
a really solid unit. It feels absolutely amazing to use. The paddles um, are really smooth. And uh, the accelerator and the clutch and the brake are really smooth. The only problem is that I've found so far is the brake is a very stiff pedal to press. So uh, if you have a weaker leg, it might be a little bit more difficult to use. Um, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually rate the games worst to best. Um, sort of see... So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to rate the games from worst to best and see how they sort of stand, compare them. Um, so this is a personal preference. So I would say in last place out of the six games that we've played, uh, sixth place goes to Forza Horizon 4 just because it was a really hard, difficult experience to do. Um, the 180 degrees just didn't feel right for a car at all. Um, so I didn't enjoy it and I... Obviously, the force feedback just wasn't there, and the force feedback sometimes even pushed, sometimes then pushed the wheel further than the 180, and it just didn't feel right at all. Um, so that's why that gets last. Uh, fifth place goes to Dirt Rally 2.0 because um, it is a very realistic game, but it's just not. It was too difficult, and there isn't a setting to sort of change how it is, make the handling a little bit easier. Um, so obviously if you're really good at that kind of thing then that would probably be higher up but my personal preference that is in fifth at the moment um, then after that I would say uh, moving on to Forza Motorsport 7 now even though Forza Motorsport 7 was the most enjoyable for me out of all of them it's the fact that again it's the 180 degrees and also the force feedback wasn't the best but it was better than uh, Forza Horizon 4 um, but yeah, that gets fourth place only because Project Cars gets third. It it was a tough choice between the two games, but Project Cars gets third just because of the fact that it has the full rotation and also the force feedback. But it's a very difficult game to play. Um, obviously, you get faster as the more you play it. But right now, that gets third place. Then second place goes to F1 2018 just because of. Uh, the fact that you get that realistic 360 degrees and also the force feedback is insanely good for that um, and it is a really fun game to play and I just love F1 anyways because it's so like therapeutic just going round on the same track over and over again there is something therapeutic about that um, but my first place choice is obviously Dirt 4 because you get the full use of the 900 degrees of the wheel but also, um, the force feedback just feels amazing. And doing like rallying, I did some rallying stages on Dirt 4 as well. And it was just so much fun. Um, but yeah, that is going to do it for today's episode. If you guys did enjoy, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And if you want to help support the channel, hit that join button, it means the world to me. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.